It's a deck dinner with the dogs right now. I put down some spaghetti squash and um, baked yellow flesh potatoes for them and they're even eating those because they can smell that I've made these. And uh, I know I shouldn't get them hot dogs. That's not very good for them. But I'll show you what I can do with them. I slit them in the middle. I don't know if you can see that. And um, these are treats that I made this morning that are mostly, I would say, kale and then a lot of organic cranberry pulp. And um, I also put, I'd saved the blueberries and Saskatoons that weren't really good for me to eat. You know, they were too dried out or not purple enough or whatever. And I'd frozen those and I put those in there. And there's some carrot pulp and a little bit of cauliflower, um, but lots of peanut butter. So they're very excited about the smell of this and this. So I'll just set that down. We'll talk for a minute <laughs> while I give them these treats. Pants are falling down a bit. Anyway, I'm going to talk about a couple videos in a minute, but there, you can't see Elvis over there, but he's doing the hands in the air Reggie thing that he does. It's so cute. Yeah, I know. Just a minute. So I'm giving them probiotic bacteria, which will um, it will eat the insoluble fiber that's in here and I'm giving them some omega-3 and for a long time I was just buying omega-3 from the pet store for them and I was thinking oh is this stuff too strong or I don't know and then it, finally I realized you know I don't even know what that pet store stuff what it has in it anything I thought I'd try this on them and they do really well on the same stuff that I eat so Take a pill, push it into the slit. Help us come here. Up, up. Oh. James has taught him to sit, so he's he's he wants to sit. But he did a very good job of sitting there. That was very good. And see, he took it right away. Put it in there. It's in there. Amphra gets one. Opie wants one. I know. I know. You're not. Because Opie was a, he was a stray from the streets of LA and somebody rescued him and gave him to us and so he maybe doesn't have the manners that other dogs do, Paris. There we go. And Angel gets the last one of these. I have the probiotic stuff still to give them. also doesn't take the pill very readily. But everyone's going to get a couple pieces at least, so he's not going to get more of them, even though he pulls that trick. Let's see if he dropped it again. He did. See, he's a miracle at this. He gets him out every time. The other dogs, it's right down the hatch. But him, he's, he knows the game. But you're all going to get another piece because Opie got a piece. You don't demand it. That's not nice. You can eat this.
Okay, well, anyway, I'm just going to give these uh, these things to them at the, the floor. No, don't do that. It's all gone. All the stuff that you're barking for is no longer here. So you just... Okay. okay. Anyway, now we get on to that. Eating you alive. Um, put down that this was a good dog. It's okay. Um, about whole food plant-based diet. Um, the music was a bit too inspirational for me, but whatever gets people to eat more kale. There was just a point where they were talking about people eating too much fat and that it doesn't matter which type of fat we're eating too much of. And then near the end of the doc, people were showing recipes and I think the first one was an instant mac and cheese using ground cashews and nutritional yeast, which if you haven't tried it down. But um, they didn't point out that that is a high fat recipe, very high fat. And um, the thing about cashews is also nutrient dense, right? So anyway, I wouldn't suggest anyone eat vegan mac and cheese made like that on a regular basis, too high fat. But between all of the kale and beet juices with ginger and turmeric, okay. Um, they also failed to mention probiotic bacteria entirely, which I even give it to the dogs. Um, I give it to them in pill form because I don't think they'd want kale um, or cabbage sauerkraut or they certainly wouldn't want kimchi. So I give them pill form. Uh, we all need to ferment our own foods like sauerkraut and kimchi so that we are certain we're getting enough probiotic bacteria. Kombucha isn't the best. Now I do have the camera sitting on a bottle of kombucha right now with um, uh, ginger mint from my garden and ginger in it to flavor it. And my ginger mint in my garden is still about half of it still alive, so I'm still able to put it in my kombucha. It's fresh. Um, because, oh, I wanted to mention about the kombucha. Yeah, in order for it to taste good, I drink mine really tart. It's pretty vinegary. Um, but most people would want it to be kind of sweet. And if it's sweet, then has the yeast fermented all the sugar? <laughs> right? Um, but I don't know. It's still it's certainly better than drinking pop. Um, anyway, they were mentioning, they were sh uh, one woman in the video was showing the audience bread label and pointing out the sugar in it. To make leavened bread, you have to use yeast, and sugar feeds the yeast. So sugar is going to be on the label if you're eating leavened bread. Bread. You might have some other kind of sweetener on there, but it's going to be something that can feed yeast, like maybe honey. But I've, you know what? I've never seen a bread that has honey on the label. It's probably out there. I just haven't come across it. Um, I think that's it. Okay, so I would recommend this for everybody. There's a lot of useful information in there, and um, it might actually work to convince people to eat a little bit healthier. Just like Annafred, who's eating her treats right now made out of organic cranberries. There's a lot of organic cranberry pulp in there because we've been drinking it, drinking the juice. Um, anyway, the lure. I haven't given them all the cranberry pulp because I have a lot of cranberries here and I'm going to use some for myself to make some more of my psyllium fiber patties. So anyway, Galore. This is a Polish uh, movie with English subtitles. It's a horror musical about carnivorous mermaid sisters who mo moonlight as Polish nightclub singers in the 1980s. It was so bad. So, so bad. Not watchable. 
It was basically a long, crappy rock video. So bad. Um, nobody should watch this. But everybody should watch this. It doesn't take long. Just borrow it from your local library and it might inspire you to do more healthy cooking. Hey kids.